Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another unboxing. I bought more stuff for myself. I'm chasing that high of getting packages in the mail. I'm not gonna do a big intro or anything because you probably already know what to expect based on the video title, but like with my last unboxing, I don't even remember what I bought. Let's get started. I'm going to save this one for last because I actually do remember what this is. I bought these scissors at, I think it was like an art museum or something in Oslo, Norway, and they are the prettiest scissors I have ever owned, but I digress. What is it? I don't know. I am not good strategically when it comes to opening things. Oh my God. Let me access you. Oh my God. The World's Columbian Exposition, Chicago, 1492 to 1892. Fun fact. The World's Columbian Exposition, or the Chicago World's Fair, took place in 1893. 1892 is when the exposition was dedicated. Uh, there was a big to-do because it was the 400-year anniversary of 1492 when Columbus came to the Americas, hence World's Columbian Exposition. But the fair itself did not open until 1893, and as you see, copyright, C.D. Arnold, 1893. If I remember correctly, this is a photo album. <gasps> Oh yeah. Oh my God. I forgot about this. This is crazy. Handwritten letters dated 1893. Oh my God. This is insane. Sunday, August 27th, 1893. My dear mama, my first letter was rather mixed up. I think so. I will try to begin at the beginning this time. This is a pretty long letter. I think what I'll do is read it in my own time and I will transcribe it in the video description. So check the video description and you can read what is written in this letter. This was actually written in 1893. I mentioned in a previous video that I recently read The Devil in the White City by Eric Larson. Link in the video description if you want to learn more about that. But that book focuses really heavily on all of the preparations that went into the World's Columbian Exposition, the Chicago World's Fair. By all accounts, this was like the craziest thing anyone had ever seen at this time. It was an entire city built just for the purpose of this fair. All of these incredible buildings that were built were actually temporary and we can't see them today, except maybe one that was made to be permanent. But this was an entire city that was created and all of the buildings were white and it went on as far as the eye can see and it was just this incredible thing. And so as soon as I finished the book, learning about all of this, I became super fixated on wanting to see as many photographs as possible, trying to imagine what it would have been like to walk around this place. It took people several visits to see the whole thing. So many things we know today were first put on show at the Chicago World's Fair of 1893. Here are just a few of them. Put this here, move on to the big box. Packing peanuts. I haven't seen these in a while. Oh yes, I remember what this is. So I bought a lot of, not like a lot of, like a lot, the noun, like one lot of books. So beautiful. History of the World's Fair, being a complete description of the World's Columbian Exposition from its inception. I'm like, I wish I had, you know those things that you see in museums that are like the styrofoam looking things that you lay books on to be very gentle so you don't have to open them completely flat? I don't have that. This is like the one-stop shop for all the information you need to know about the fair. Wow. Chicago and her two world's fairs depicting a century of progress. So this talks about 1893 to 1933. So I guess Chicago had another world's fair in 1933, which I did not know. Do they have world's fairs anymore? Did this die out? The Chicago World's Fair of 1893, a photographic record. This is obviously a much more modern book. And, nope, not finally. World's Fair, Chicago, 1893, souvenir. Illustrated, copyright 1891. So, 
The stuff in here came out before the actual fair, being a complete and concise history of the principal world's fairs from the Crystal Palace, London, 1851, to the World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago, 1893. How and where to find the gems of the fair with diagrams. Oh my God. The key to all, all roads lead to Buffalo Bill's Wild West and Congress of Rough Riders of the World voted a world beater. So if you were going to the fair, you could buy this for 25 cents and have, almost pocket size, a guide on where to find the best things at the fair. If you want to see this, here's where you go. Next, the official guide to the World's Columbian Exposition. Price, 25 cents again. The rubber bands were on for a reason because this is not together. Official map of the world's Columbian Exposition with suggestions for 10 daily trips. So like I was saying before, 10 trips to see everything. You have prices of everything, all of the different attractions. The Ferris wheel, 50 cents. 50 cents in 1893 is worth $14.61 today. So about $15 to visit each of these places. 15, 15, 15. And last but not least, a used ticket to the Chicago World's Fair of 1893. Good for one admission at pay gates. There are a lot for sale online, and a lot of them have their stub attached, which probably are worth more, but I didn't want that. I wanted one that was actually used, that someone from 1893 had in their hands. I'm gonna touch it, because I can. Feels like a playing card. So if any of you guys wanna to come to the fair with me, don't forget to get your ticket and I will see you there. Please hit subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. I hope you did. Leave a comment below and I will see you in my next video.